え皆さんこんにちはえ本日ここ米教習用陸艦サンディエゴ,サンディエゴにおいてえ米太平洋艦隊司令官ケーラー大将と共に日米共同統合演習金騒動25について皆様にお知らせする機会を得たことを総合幕僚長として大変嬉しく感じていますえ本金騒動25は日本防衛のための日米共同対処および統合運用を演練しますえー、さて昨今の国際安全保障環境は欧州におけるロシアによるウクライナに対する軍事侵略が継続するとともに中東においてはガザの戦闘が拡大しつつあるなど国際社会が連動化して不安定化しています我が国周辺地域においても力による一方的な現状変更を試みる国々が軍事活動を拡大活発化しています一方中長期的に見て国際安全保障の焦点はインド太平洋地域にありますが特に我が国周辺地域においてウクライナと同様の深刻な事態が起きる可能性を排除できないという強い危機感を抱いておりこうした事態を何としても予防・抑止する必要があると感じています。日米同盟は日本の安全および地域の平和と安定にとっての礎でありますこの日米同盟の抑止力対処力を強化するとともに法の支配に基づく国際秩序を維持する同志国との連携を深めることが自由で開かれたインド太平洋の維持・強化に寄与すると考えていますさてこの金騒動25は本年度の日米共同の実動演習における最大規模の演習であり陸・海・空・自衛隊から人員約3万3000人、艦艇約30隻、航空機約250機、そして米軍から人員約1万2000名が参加します。そして本演習の内容は、我が国の武力攻撃事態において、統合対艦戦闘、統合防空ミサイル防衛、水陸両用作戦、空挺作戦、統合広報補給、衛星などの訓練を行うとともに、宇宙、サイバー、電磁波領域と、陸上、海上、航空領域と、混合させる全領域横断作戦における日米の相互運用性を向上させるものであり極めて高度かつ複雑な訓練であります、えー、さらに金騒動25においては日米に加えて初めてオーストラリアカナダが参加をいたしますがこれは同盟のパートナーシップ拡大の
象徴であると感じています、えー、私はここにいるケイラー司令官とともにこの極めて重要な金相度25の成果を収めるため強いリーダーシップを発揮してまいります、えー、最後にありますが本演習の実施にあたりご支援ご協力を賜った関係地方自治体をはじめとする国民の皆様に対し心から御礼を申し上げます Well, thank you,、uh, thank you very much, General Yoshida, and、uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am completely fired up to be here on board USS San Diego in Sasebo for Exercise King Sword. So, General Yoshida, thank you for traveling here today. Great to see you again after spending time together in v i s h t a p a t n a m India for Exercise Malabar just two weeks ago. And certainly, thank you. To the media for covering this important event. Keen Sword is a major biannual, biannual and biannual bilateral joint exercise that we've conducted with the Japan Self Defense Force since 1986. It features realistic, relevant training that raises our combined ability to plan, communicate, and conduct complex multi domain operations. This year, we are honored to have our friends from the Australian Defense Force and the Canadian Armed Forces join us as observers. We welcome the opportunity to train with our Japanese, Australian, and Canadian allies, and I look forward to an outstanding exercise. The US Japan Alliance is a cornerstone of regional peace and security. The US Pacific Fleet values the ironclad alliance with Japan and the Self Defense Force and their key role in the Indo Pacific. The strength of our alliance is due in large part to the close, cooperative, and professional relationships we have forged in our frequent operations together. We have continued to expand these operations in 2024. Together, we've enlarged our bilateral exercises, such as Keen Sword. In February, Australia joined us for Exercise Keen Edge for the first time. In June, Japan joined us for Exercise v a l u e Which became a multi multilateral、uh, and national exercise for the first time this year, along with Canadian and French navies. In July, the JSDF went to Hawaii for the full program of RIMPAC 2024, again playing a vital key role, this time as the combined task force vice commander. And earlier this month, as I alluded to, Japan joined the United States and Australia. In India for Exercise Malabar, and additionally in the Philippines with many partners for Exercise Sama Sama, where we operated together in the South China Sea. We have continued our historic progress in the Japan, Iraq, and US trilateral operations as we plan and execute increasing advanced trilateral activities. In June, we completed our first ever Japan. Iraq, United States, exercise freedom edge. Taken together, our combined forces in the Indo Pacific promote free trade and shared prosperity, reinforced by the rules based international order. That order is based on values and ideals that have stabilized the world for generations. It includes preventing the change of borders by force and maintaining freedom of the seas in support of international free trade. It's a common cause our allies and partners rally around. That common cause of global order based on values and ideals makes our alliances and partnerships unbreakable, and together we advance a shared vision for an Indo Pacific where all countries, regardless of size or strength, Are secure in their sovereignty and are free from coercion. Our shared vision underpins our strong network of professional militaries throughout the Indo Pacific. It is upheld resolutely by the U.S. Pacific Fleet and our multinational partners. In 2024, this shared vision is driving us to do more together than ever before. Our achievements this year are historic. And are part of a new convergence in the Indo Pacific, created by like minded partners and allies operating together 
like never before. Our combined capabilities and links with other nations dwarf any competitor. This increasing convergence is at the heart of integrated deterrence, which is realized through a combination of all elements of national and international power. We contribute militarily across the joint force and with our allies and partners to deter conflict, and Keen Sword is a powerful example of just that. During Keen Sword, we will focus on sh sharpening joint integration and interoperability to build combat readiness. We will exercise together in very, various locations across the Japan and Philippine Sea under realistic conditions with cutting edge equipment and tactics. We will conduct bilateral amphibious landings. Our joint and combined force will conduct precise and overwhelming multi-domain, multi-axis operations that highlight the skill and agility of our professional militaries. And we will demonstrate our ability to rapidly counter aggression against Japan or any other regional ally and partner. During Keen Sword, we all will witness the strength of the ironclad U.S.-Japan alliance and our obligation to defend Japan from any aggressor. And Keen Sword will ensure we maintain our advantage over those who seek to undermine the rules-based international order. And even after Keen Sword, our critical bilateral operations will endure. We will continue to stand united in defense of our shared values and common purpose. And our tried and true alliance will continue to offer a full range of opportunities and endless possibilities. As strong democracies dedicated to stability and prosperity, there is no limits to what we can do together to maintain the free and open universe. I wish all the Keen Sword participants a safe and productive efforts exercise with shared growth and development, both personally and professionally. I would trade places with any of you out there flying and sailing and operating together. Thank you to the USS San Diego for hosting this event today, to my good friend General Yoshida, and thank you for being here and for outstanding support, both of the JSDF, the United States, and the Keen Sword participants. General, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. That's all the time we have. Thank you for coming out. Please stay in your seats until General.